What's up guys, this is Fix the Angel the Metal. We are here at Download Festival 2011. It's been an awesome weekend so far, but it's not over yet. And I'm here talking and rocking out. Whiskey and Dread. It's just started, isn't it? Yeah, just, just started. started. It's only just begun. I must say, your hair looks very nice, that colour. Thank color. you. I've had it cut and... Yeah, yeah, cut yeah. and it's not so... But no, it looks... I like it really? a lot. Yeah, and I like that. <laughs> just want you to know that. Let's Thank get you. that out there. So how are you boys doing? You okay? Fantastic, yeah. Um, We've been looking forward to playing Download, haven't we? Uh, so yeah, much. It's a highlight of the year for us. Yeah, you know, we've um, we basically this was a festival that sort of missed us out a few years. We've been doing Solisphere quite a lot yeah. over the last two years, and this is one that we're like, man, I can't wait to play. And where we are, we're here and we're doing it, and we're excited. I know our slot is wicked on the main oh, stage. We're really stoked that uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. It's I mean, a great slot, you know. I feel like one of the big bands now. Yeah, we're tough now. <laughs> we're tough. Elbow you, bam. <laughs> yeah, we're ruling. So, um, are you guys going to be kicking around all weekend, or are yeah. you just here? For we are here to annoy and all weekend we're yeah. here. Yeah, we well, we literally just drove in about half an hour ago, so I haven't even had a look around yet. We just come straight here, and I, there's loads of bands I, I want to see. Time to go shopping. Oh, well, we do that afterwards. Okay, okay. There's some Marks and Sparks somewhere. So no, I'm not right. talking Marks and Sparks. I'm them real crusty, dirty, you know, festival, yeah, festival yeah. places. The only place you can go, and you know, it's like. Oh my God, I'm not going to... Dirty burger. Yeah, eat yeah. a dirty burger, buy old-fashioned clothes. Brilliant. Love it. <laughs> so you boys are no strangers to uh, download. Um, so I was wondering, like, as you said, you've played Sonosphere quite a few times, and of course Hammerfest was the indoor event, so I keep catching you guys at. Um, uh, I was wondering what are you guys going to bring to the download masses? Do you know what? We, we're going on our stage, and we, we're going to bring some, some energy to the fight, which is um, important. I mean, the first round we're going to take our time. You know, we've been training hard, and you know, when, when you when you when you get into a situation where you're being huddled by the crowd, you've got to just keep backing them off and keep backing them off. But we got some super super. We've we've been exercising so hard, and we got some good moves. I really believe that it's going to be. Sound, go on. I, I was going to say it sounds like you're training for the Olympics or something. I, I think yeah. Well, that's the deal. I think we got some good. We got some, is the Olympics. exactly. Yeah. We got some good moves, and um, I think that you know it's going to be like a. I'll be, I'll, I'll be certainly, I think it's going to be a six round knockout, I really do. But the reason why we're going to take it so long before we knock you out because we want to build you to it. We're so used to walking on and going on stage and having one round knockouts. I mean, our, our biggest knockout was like 30 seconds in the first round, you know, so we're going to go for it. I think we're going to build it up and let the crowd see us that we can actually display some monstrous vibes. Damn. God, that's a good answer. <laughs> really. Uh, I want to talk about you, the Karang Awards uh, yesterday evening. Congratulations on your devotion wow. award. Ask him about it. Someone knew. Did you know? I sort of, I sort of had an inkling. See, I didn't know. I didn't. I well, I, I was the only one that sort of did because I had to arrange a couple of those video clips, and they asked. They didn't tell me why they wanted them, so I wasn't sure. I, well, but I sort of knew, well, wouldn't I didn't know. know so. At all. so if I did know, I wouldn't have drank so much before I went on stage. I got on stage, just started rambling on, just like I've been since we got here, you know. Uh, and I just wish I knew. I, I wish I knew when I got to the table at least. But it was a total surprise to me. And I've always wanted one of them Karang Awards. And now I got one. Well, we got one, and we're gonna it. share it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting no one have it. But what we're gonna do is like share it around every every couple of months. Pass it around. Be a rotor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to put it in my mum's house. Oh, I want to put it in my front room for a little while at least. <laughs> so he's got it first then? Well, I got it first, but you know, but I'll be upset when I got a part with it. You know? We do it in sort of like seniority. Yeah. So the you get it first, so I get it second. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Yeah. <laughs> and Stu just gets it last. Oh, he didn't get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's talk about uh, your latest uh, record, it's called Union Black and uh, it's the first album that you've recorded in the UK, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, how, so how come you decided to... Well, we, we, uh, we partnered company with some friends of ours called the Beeler Brothers and um, we were basically our time in the US was done really and then we, we came back home. Uh, we got some British management, a gentleman called Seven Webster who's been nothing but great to us. He became, he came on, he joined the camp and um, it was all, it was all UK all the way from there really we went into the studio with a guy called James Loughborough is that his name? Loughry Loughry James Loughry James LaRock he likes to be called yeah we went into the studio with LaRock and um, it was just really good to be in the UK like, we're so used to being on beaches in Florida yeah, or, we wanted to do something different yeah, didn't we yeah. just, uh, so it was just, good to be in the cold <laughs> yeah just, I think it made us a lot more focused because we weren't used to where we were going to be didn't know what it was going to be like so I think there was that sort of that nervous energy that I think gave us you know 
overall energy, I guess, yeah. as well. It made it really sparky, so. Yeah. yeah, it was lovely to be in the UK. I mean, like, we'd go out and party on a weekend and know everybody, because I, I live in Wales, so it's like, Going to, going, to, going to London is like a big deal for the for the, for the little Welsh boy, like you know. And being up in the city was great, and hanging out with people I haven't seen in years and stuff. So it was nice. It was like a real family unit though, as we was recording, you know. Everybody was like shooting off at night when they finished their part to go to watch shows and stuff. It was really cool. Yeah. Well, you did the track with uh, Jacoby from Papa Roach. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was track warning. I was wondering, you guys have got so many friends in the industry and artists, etc. Why did you pick Jacoby to come on the album with you? He's a great rock singer, and I don't think he gets enough credit for being a great rock singer. And I think when Ben sort of suggested it, because you just said, why don't we get Jacoby? And it was like, yeah, that's a great idea. It's just his voice is great. And when we and talked with him... it my voice yeah. as well. We didn't realise it was going to be like that. We took a chance on it, really. We didn't <laughs> you know? even know what he was going to do in the studio. Nah. Basically, we wrote the whole song. We had a big gap in the song after the after the chorus, and I thought we need something really cool to go in there. So I said to Jacoby, "Dude, do you want to do you want to do something?" And he was like, "Okay." And I sent him the track, and I said, "Can we hear what you're going to do?" He went, "Nope." So what do you mean, no? Can you come? Can we hear what you're going to do? Nope. I said, "Okay." So we turned up at the studio and just slayed. It was all, we just stood there after, he, great, said, yeah. he said, check this out, and he sang, he sang his part, you better tread lightly, and we were like, man, he sounds so cool, because I'm a Papa Roach fan, yeah, so like, yeah. and I know that he is as well, yeah. so we just all sat there in awe of him doing his thing, and he just went and behind the microphone, and he did about six, six takes, and that was it, it was just fantastic, slayed us all, sorry for spitting on you. No, you spit on me, I didn't yeah, even say. <laughs> So good. Uh, I was wondering if, if you could choose any other artists to collab again with, who would it be? In the metal genre, I'd like to do um, Corey Taylor. I'd, I'd love Corey Taylor to sing, sing with us on our next record. Who would you want if it were for not, not metal? Not metal? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a singer, it could be a musician. Yeah, it could be a pianist, like Liberace. Oh, I like Mike Patton. Mike Patton. Yeah, I think he'd be good. Yeah, you'd have to kick me out the band, eh? No, we cut collaboration. <laughs> oh, I'm not collaboration. singing with him. No, oh, I'm you're not singing with him. Shit, it's over. I'll choose someone from the lineup. Go on, then. Justin. Justin from the Darkness. Justin there you go. Justin from the Darkness. That could be special. I reckon so. Who knows? You get out to sing Warning tomorrow. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> get your people to call his people. Yeah, no, sort I'll it just out. Walk over there. Say, hey, just mate. I seen him last night. I told him all. Oh, I think he's amazing, and I, I, I love his music and his voice, and I even love, love the Christmas song they did. You know, I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a Darkness fan. I don't remember meeting him last night. Drunko. Mm. Adia was a drunko. Mm. Yeah. I'm what did you do? I'm my head in shame today. What did you do then? We didn't really do anything bad. We didn't do anything bad. He was just drunk I, and I, loved I, up. I barged uh, Alex Cooper out of the way when, I didn't, when, <laughs> when he was uh, trying to get a photo with us. Well, I think we were trying to get a photo with him. But Ali and said, who's that old bloke trying to get in? Like, pushed him. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Alcohol's a hell of a drug. Sorry, Alice. It is. It is. Um, now, I want to talk about famous fans. Uh, you've got one. Will Smith's Mrs. Jada. Yeah, that's pretty famous, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> you know, yeah. well, I mean, when you guys heard the, that news, what was running through your mind? Actually, I didn't hear it like that. I am. Um, she actually told us yeah, because she, we met her in the We stage, met her in Los Angeles. Okay. And um, we played show, a show. She came with an entourage. And there was a couple of guys from a band called Fishbone who um, I remember playing with years ago in my old band. And they were there as well with her. And she came backstage and she, and she had like two t-shirts on each arm and the CDs and she stood there like, can you sign it for us? I was like, oh my God, I signed it. Big smile on my face, thank you very much. You know, and, and yeah, she just said, I love your music. I, I exercise to your music and I want to I wanna play metal music myself, you know, and I want to do it in my own way. Yeah, she was lovely. We, um, lovely. we saw her when she played here at Download and Big Willie was there. Big Will, and me baby. and you met him, didn't we? Yeah. He was went to he went to the Metal Hammer Awards, and he had like this private, they sort of closed off the balcony or something, didn't they? A yeah, special they balcony. Did. Me and you just went up there to try and find him, and uh, he was uber nice, wasn't he? Was he access denied or not? No, he was wicked. He was lovely. The only thing was, I asked the security guard, "Can you take a picture?" And the security guard said, "No, sir, I cannot do that." I was like, "What do you mean? No, I cannot do that." I can't, and Will said, "Hey, home." So, and I was like, "What do you mean, mate? What do you mean?" And Will said, "Hey, oh man, he's working, man. That's what he does. That's his job." <laughs> and I thought that was really cool of Will because he just sort of like, because the guy most probably would have just fucked me up quick, bang, bang, you know, I would have been like in a knot on the floor. So Will sort of saved my life, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> so after the download weekend, when can we next see Skindred rocking up the UK, up and down country? Um, we, we're gonna we're gonna um, go over to Europe. Gonna take it quiet in the UK for yeah, a bit. We're gonna, then. we're gonna be a minute. I think you know too much of. One thing is good for nothing, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna split and leave you guys with some killer videos, and um, just you know word of mouth, chatty, chatty, chatty stuff, and you know back up for a minute and then just come back 
maybe in a year or so and kill again. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Uh, good luck with everything. Good luck with your dates and everything. Looking forward to seeing you boys later. Skindred.com is all the news that you need. Anything Skindred wise. Skindred not yet. You yeah. changed it. I'm sorry, it's .net. I thought I'd tell you yourselves. So you tell them again for me, please. Skindred.net is all everywhere that you can find Skindred news, etc., etc. Cool beans. Thank you very much again. It's been cool. Skindred at Download Festival 2011. Keep it loud.